Hey, what's going on, guys? What's Nigger Magic here today? Uh, I've been meaning to show you guys this trick, um, and today I finally am. There's many versions of this trick. I like this the best, uh, mainly because it's an impromptu version. And uh, without further ado, let's get into this. Uh, it is impromptu, like I said, which means the deck can be shuffled, uh, and there's really no setup to this trick. All right. And once the spectator is shuffling, cut the pack. Uh, you say, okay. I'm going to go through the pack and just, I'm going to make three predictions, alright, and I think I got them, yeah, yep, okay, uh, I'm just going to write them down, that way I don't forget them, alright, and one, e, hmm, yep, and, okay, so I've written down three cards on this piece of paper. All right, I'm going to leave this off to the side for now, uh, right over there. So that way you, you know, won't lose track of it. Uh, and basically what those predictions are going to be is you're going to cut the pack into three piles. All right. Now, my prediction would be one, two, and three, the three cards on top. So the jack of clubs, the three of hearts, and so on and so forth. And uh, that is my prediction. So the spectator comes over. And they say, okay, there's one pile, there's two piles, and there's three piles. I say, okay, you know, you could have cut the pack any way you'd like, um, but you didn't. You cut to this card, this card, and this card, and all we're going to do is take each card. So there's one, we're going to take this card, that's two, and also that's three. And let's take a peek. We have the four of clubs, the queen of hearts, and the ten of spades. Now, that's pretty interesting, I, I must say, because if we take a look at my prediction, uh, well, I think you might find something a little interesting, because I did predict the Four of Clubs, the Queen of Hearts, and the Ten of Spades in my Chicken Scratch, um, and that's the trick, guys. There's many versions of this where you might find the Four Aces and so on, uh, but I like this, alright, impromptu, and without wasting time, let's get right into how this is done. Alright guys, so here's obviously the tutorial. Uh, should be a pretty quick tutorial, mainly because there's not much to talk about. Uh, really, this is quick, easy. Uh, so you hand the pack out to the spectator. They're going to shuffle and cut the pack as much as they'd like. And once they're done, you say you're going to make a prediction. All right. What you're going to do uh, for your prediction is take the top card, the first card, and the last two cards in the pack. Alright, so in this case, my three predictions, the three cards uh, that I would be writing down on my paper would be Seven of Spades, Queen of Clubs, and Five of Hearts. These are the three cards I would write down on my piece of paper. So, during the trick, I say, alright, I'm going to make a quick prediction. Uh, trying to remember, okay, just in one sweep. Alright, if you have to look back twice, feel free, okay? And then you say, okay, I have Seven of Spades, Queen of Clubs, Five of Hearts. And then you write in your paper the seven of spades, the five of hearts, and the queen of clubs. All right, and then you fold that. Uh, you can have them hold it or, you know, whatever you want to do. And so you put that off to the side. Now, from here, it's all self-working. They're going to cut the pack into three roughly equal piles. Now, they think you're going to take the top three cards, which is, ooh, the Ace of Spades, we have the Four of Clubs, and the Seven of Spades. If you would look at my prediction, this does not match, alright? does not match at all. We have a Seven of Spades, which is good, but the other two do not match, and uh, we have to do a little bit of magic to get those two match, and it's not very difficult. What you're going to do is pick up this packet over here, uh, pretty much the first one that was dealt on the table. You're going to flow through and mention, you could have stopped me anywhere here, but you didn't. All right, you stop me at this card. Now, as you're saying gibberish, you're going to catch a break under the bottom two cards. These are going to be the cards which you predicted. All right, so you're going to get a pinky break under those cards, just like so. From here, you're going to slide off the top card, still pulling those two cards as well. So you really have three cards, and you have to mask it and make it look as if you only had one card, all right? That's going to be a little bit difficult, all right? Uh, but I'm sure you guys will get it. You just want to make sure you stay, keep the pack nice and square. And you'll notice right now, it looks like one card, um, and you put the rest of the pack down. One thing I want to mention, make sure you maintain a break. That's very important. You maintain a break under that top card. You pick up the second packet. 
All right, you're going to do pretty much a similar thing, but this time you're going to ditch the card and pull off the top. So you're going to ditch your break, all right, which was one card, and you're going to pull off the top, which you're also going to maintain another break. And once again, you're doing the same exact thing. You're going to ditch the card. So I ditch the card and pull off the top. What I have just done, if you noticed, the two cards which I actually stole in the beginning from this pack stayed with me the whole way through. All right, and those were also on my predictions, like I mentioned. And now from here, you say, okay, let's take a peek at what I have. I have a five of hearts, a queen of clubs, and the seven of spades. You then take a peek at your prediction, and you have the seven of spades, five of hearts, and queen of clubs, just like you predicted. And that's the trick, guys. Very short, very sweet. Uh, there's versions of this. Uh, which I don't like, okay, I kind of like this one, it's not difficult, and it's impromptu, alright, you could use this in a setup version, using the aces if you'd like, um, you could do a lot of this stuff with this, so I hope you liked it, um, I have contests going on, links on the screen, uh, feel free to obviously enter that, and as always guys, remember, I'll be ball.